When I'm holding on, or when we doing something, yeah. She she feel it, she dey feel it, she dey feel, she dey feel, she dey feel, she dey feel, she oh, she dey feel the anointing. Uh -huh. Since 2009, I've known R2Bs. Uh, like I used to do shows with them. Remember, I said I was a promoter, so I used to hire them to play at my events. And from there, we became friends. And from there, Moogies became a mentor musically, even till this day. When I want to, sometimes when I hear a beat and I want to record, I just ask myself, how would Moogies flow on this? And I just do exactly. I say it everywhere. I just jack, <laughs> jack Moogies. So it's, it's like being a family relationship between myself and r 2 Even before I decided to push the music, I decided to do the music seriously, which was November 2014. And even in decision making, Moogies and R2Bs, shout out to PD. I remember PD telling me one day at the airport, he was like, if you don't do this music, I'm going to catch you and I'm going to hold you down, you know? And everybody knows that R2Bs and Wizkid, this family, I feel like they can even drop four albums. They have enough content to drop four albums. And it's the same thing with Afia. So R2Bs and Afia's family as well. R2Bs, Afia, Wizkid is family. And so I was this other family member at the other side. And so meeting, meeting Whiskey was just like finally meeting the other brother who lives uh, across the road. And so um, I feel it, it, even the meetup was orchestrated by Payday, Mogis, and Ifia. I remember Ifia bringing me to Whiskey's house. We came to, uh, from Ghana to Nigeria and everything. So we just decided that, you know what? Right now, there's light on African music, isn't it? And it will make more sense if there's like a united front. There's at least some form of unity in this music. Because you see, for instance, you see most of the songs that are coming out right now, the Afro vibes, the stripped down Afro beats. So you hear, today I heard a song, uh, I don't know who has that song. I heard a song today by a rapper, I think Tiger, yeah. and the bounces, Afro vibes, yeah. the delivery is even Afro vibes, but it's just stripped down, yeah. not as much instrumental as maybe an Olamide song, but the same bounce yeah, and English, elements, yeah, yeah, the basic elements. So, uh, Wiz, I remember Wiz just saying, you know what, Wiz and Moogies and Pede just saying, you know what, let's, since, since we're already messing with ourselves, yeah. let's just come together and have this, this joint front, have this sort of a family, an extended family that we would push this African agenda to the world. And I must say it's like, Tosfa is, is, is still a young relationship with me just coming into the deal. But Tosfa, it's been, it's been blessed. It's been blessed because it's not like a conventional record deal. Because obviously, you know, R2Bs are doing their thing, Ife is doing their thing. But it's, it's more like, like I said, it's more like a united front and everybody is gaining and I feel like I'm the one gaining the most out of all of this. There's actually business, there's a business side to it, but that of course I can't say to the camera. Plenty money, she didn't know I spend it, spend it no, no. She didn't know I become a superstar, oh no. She didn't know my name was Mr. Easy, she didn't know I sang the beat, beat dancey, she didn't the deal already has acted as sort of a catalyst yeah. already in speeding up the chemical reaction that is the Mr. Easy vibe, you know, so that's one. On, and with that speed up, it has affected everything. It has affected the way people accept my music. It has brought a lot of people listening to my music. A simple cosign from Mogis or Payde or Ifia or, or Wiz. Like, it's been very positive for me and I'm just, I'm just blessed right now.